and sometimes I say, yeah. well, it seems that you've been, you've known me my whole life. How could you know that? Mm. You know, and, and so I'm looking for what personality types they are and trying to read that. And then, and, and I'm, I'm, I can do that pretty well. So as I imagine a lot of people who are listening to this podcast will want to know how they should act around a psychopath if they suspect that they're in the presence of a psychopath and you know they're not it's not their job to interview and study psychopaths they're out at a bar or something house party in the office and they are dealing with someone who's off how should someone act around someone who they suspect to be at least sharing some of the traits of a psychopath if not a full-blown psychopath yeah a walk away What if you can't walk away? What if you're what if you're working with someone? It, it, this person's in your office, they they're in the same social circle and you see them on a regular semi-regular basis. You just you try to avoid them. You can't let them into your head. They want to be in your head. They want to get to you so they can manipulate. In some way. Mm -hmm. To the point that you're going to be uncomfortable. So, so if you think back to the times where you were actively manipulating someone, what, is it more of... Like, like you're kind of scanning their personal experiences and the dialogue for an in is do you come in with a preconceived game plan of how you're going to manipulate no, this person? I, I, I personally don't try to do it. I try to okay. fight that. Okay. Definitely. Now I, I, I fight it. I try to completely fight any, any, any desire to, to do that. I don't like it in, in myself. And, and so I just, well, it, I'll just inhibit it. I don't do it anymore. In the in the past, when you have done it, is there is there uh, just like speaking about ways that people could be on guard for this? It, you know, before you developed the uh, the the avoidance of manipulation. If if you think back to times where you manipulated people in the past through conversation was it more of a scanning like you were scanning for things to dig into did you come into the conversation with a plan in mind like how how did that typically go down the manipulation no, I, tactics I, I never i never had a plan it would just happen organically mm. or if i was interested somebody was interesting i would just be asking questions about them uh, you know, and about their relationships and what they like and don't like, and just try to read uh, what they were about, hmm. and then echo that back to them. Hmm. So, it's, and just and, you know, and and sometimes I say, yeah. well, it seems that you've been, you've known me my whole life. How could you know that? Hmm. You know, and and so I'm looking for what personality types they are. And trying to read that, and then, and I'm, and I'm I can do that pretty well. <laughs>